especially the Israelite man. Which they knew what R. Kelly was up to. But it, it, all them motherfuckers in Hollywood up to some type of freaky weird ass shit. That's how you get in the dough. That's how you get in the dough. You ain't gonna be regular and make it in Hollywood. Fuck no. They gotta have some money. she should be you know after he's done his part now you know that's why the name changed you're going to your other dad like now he's you know it's like that but now these guys argue that i want my daughter to be with dumbass just like she a dumbass they can both make dumbass decisions like it just that's stupid man you, you know, know the, the whole thing about that they their premise is 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 so fucking flawed because when you talk about that a young a young girl or a young woman, they look at it in the eyes as if you're a, a, a 45 year old man going after a 13 year old girl, let's say. Never fucking does it enter into their mind. Remember when you, as a, as a man, as a young man, you was 13, you liked a little girl, right? You was in a 12th, uh, 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 12th grade or, or ninth grade or eighth grade and there was a little girl that caught your eye to open. It's not, their whole perception is that it's about a dirty old man trying to be with a little girl, never thinking of the 15 year old boy who likes this 13 year old girl. And secondly, the marriages were arranged back then in those days. You know, they never think about that. They only think of it as if there's an old man creeping around waiting for this you know, little girl to grow up so that he can, you know, knock off. Oh, 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 what about this aspect? The young girl that chases after the older guy. Because, I, I mean, when I was in school, it was a girl I liked, but she, she wanted somebody older than me. Right. So, you know, like, they make it seem like they just, oh, just sitting around waiting to somebody come in, like you said, pick them off. But mm -hmm. a lot of times, they be, they desire to be towards older men. Because, right. I mean, you know, she, every, every generation got that. Where, right. It's, it's a group of girls that they just want to, you know, deal with older men because they're more established. They got some knowledge about themselves. They got experience in life. They done been through something and they can teach them something. Yeah, you know? that, that's why they lie about their age. Because that, that happened to me. I mean, I was 17. This chick um, was talking to her. She kept saying she was 17, 17 or whatever. <laughs> right? She had already sat around with me before. And then her friend told me, oh, she ain't number 14. And I got emotional about it. I was like, this lying, you know what I'm saying? But then I thought, when I came to the truth, I said, oh, now I see why she lied. She lied because she's ready to have sex. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Because she hot down there, right? And then also, you got accounts where, in this society, let's say a man that's 20 years old dealing with a woman, and you know, she's built, she got the breasts all that, but right. she can pull off the, you know, 19, 19, right? 
then you find out she's really so called from her age. Right. Like 16. You know what Isan do? They'll lock you up. And you'll be like, well, look, she told me she was this age. They call it involuntary. Statutory. See, that's. Check her ID. Yeah. Did you ask some woman how old she is? Doing all this extra shit, man. Like. So the man will get locked up, but nothing happens to her. You see, that's unjust. But the guys at ISU, ISU UK, they probably will prove that good. He's supposed to wait till she's 16. Look, that's, your, that's your preference. That has nothing to do with the scriptures. And you got that off of Esau Edom? You know, Esau Edom taught you that. You're a man when you're 18, you're a woman when you're 18. That's what Esau Edom said, man. That's not according to the scriptures. You can live in that childlike state for a longer indoctrination period. So what happens is if you find out that you got issues with the scripture, you gotta shake it off, man. Well seek understanding. Well let me just let me research it. Cause I don't really know. Hey, what was we talking about at the class, right? The, the cousins, right? Right. And the law doing these right. cousins. Yeah, when you first know, said it to somebody, you know, But that's good, go on research, check it out. The scripture says it. Everybody got their cubs and all some cubs. Oh, I got a fine cubs in there. Cubs are so handsome. Mm -hmm. you, you, you see that shit in your family, man. Yeah. And, it, and it, it, it don't come from nowhere, man. It comes from the street. Right. Man. Right. Man, this video out here, this girl, she posted it to us. I can't wait for my cousin to come over and stuff like this. Oh, hell, cousin. <laughs> some type of intentions or something but you looking at her for no I'm not looking I'm just telling you how it is and I and I use an example to say actually it's a good thing it's a bit, we all would have been better off if y'all did that you know and you could have used the scriptures but y'all know so now you got dealing with these outside women who ain't up with a bunch of damn demons you could have kept it in house knew for sure that this man's approved this woman's approved and all that but you know the apostles they bring it up every now and then. Why is that? Because they they uh, they know that a lot of these Israelite groups got problems with certain things. So that's why the apostles every now and then bring it up just to see like, have you got no? You want to get over? It. You know, whatever it is, you got bitter and you got sweet, and we ain't even teaching for you to do it. Now. We just saying it's how it was back then. Yeah. But we're not ashamed. You yeah, understand yeah. how Esau moved, how he worked, yeah. just how he has shaped society to demonize the scriptures, man, and, and our heritage. Oh, this, uh, my life. this is Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves as men. Bring it again to mind, O oh, you transgressors. Okay? So, you know, just because, you know, the lawyer, how about I show you how to say something, get out your feelings, stop being feminine. You know? Guess what? Are you guys teaching to do that? No, of course not. We, don't teach. we won't approve of anybody that does. But we are standing. This is how we were back then. And this is, when your mind is woken up to the truth, you eat the whole roll. These guys haven't eaten the whole roll. They're, 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 they're spitting out the bitter. When the, when the bitter is, are the essential. It may not taste good, but it's essential to it. It's good for them. They all scratch. Take a bite of that. It's going to fuck you up a little bit, but overall uh, effects of it, man, is beneficial to it. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, this is uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 42 uh, in the Apocrypha. And uh, I start at verse 1. It reads, Of these things be not thou ashamed, and accept no person to sin thereby. Of the law of the Most High and His covenant. So you're not supposed to be ashamed of the law of the Most High and His covenant. Even not a lot of these guys' leaders are ashamed. They don't have to say it, it shows forth in their teachings and their doctrine. Because for you to label slander, right? Great millstone is a pedophile's basically saying that you got a problem with the law. 
of these things be not thou ashamed and accept no person to sin thereby of the law of the most high and his covenant and of judgment to justify the ungodly of reckoning with thy partners and, tra and travelers or of the gift of the heritage of friends what's the important part you're not supposed to be ashamed of the law of the most high that's right because okay, the most high knows you guys are emotional all he done been doing is sit back and watch you basically change what he set up is right, and you set up what you think is right. You know, I think this is how it's supposed to be. You know, like that guy over there, how you guys see talking about something. You know, 
how they treat, how they, and there's another thing they're guilty of, man. You're gonna have to deal with this, man. You're gonna have to deal with that. When you break your families, right? You know how you give the, the unbelieving spouses, you basically don't believe it. You know? And you basically say, well, yeah, we know the Lord said, uh, that you got the unbelieving spouses, but what we don't talk about is the part where they say, well, eventually they're supposed to believe. They don't say that, you just made that shit up. You just made that shit up, they do not say that. They said, if, if it be pleased to dwell with thee. They don't say, but she must eventually believe. They don't say that, man. You made that up, why to fit your needs and your, your uh, with how you view it. So that when you view it as a like couple, you say, well, I think they both should be in this truth. That's not what we're gonna say. Cause, Cause the Lord got things he gonna work out between these these uh unbelieving and believing spouses, man. Yeah. You know? He got situations where he might uh uh bring one into belief through a situation and, and, and make their faith strong through a situation, not forcibly by you niggas, man, and, and your doctrine, you know. Said there is not anything impossible for me to do. Because hey, that's why the scars of Pharisees question now was shot like why are you sitting sitting in the uh in the sentence and stuff like that. Because the Lord said I'm calling in the repentance, man. Yeah. You know? Because I'm quite sure most of them sinners you got whores, you know, you got niggas and hips and shit, you know, so it's like hey, that's who the Lord was, you know, calling to repentance, man. Right, because the scriptures say that the law wasn't made for the, uh, the righteous, man. Mm -hmm. It was made for the for the, uh, for the sinners, man. You know, so you know they always gonna it's always gonna be niggas saying something, man. You know, two thirds, man, they always gonna rear their head somewhere. One and twenty-four. Wherefore Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. You know, like these guys looking at um, the creatures and want to want to make up their own. Um, they want to make up their own just for how, how this supposed to go or how that supposed to go when the creator is who, who created all these things and, and placed them how he placed them. The judgments, you know, uh, uh, the laws, you know, and, and ordinances, man, because he know. But, but, but they want to make it out of a lie and say, well, we feel this should be this way. But yeah, you fucking wrong, man. You don't have to answer for that. Supposed to add or take away. Mm -hmm. Add or take away. You know? But that's what Jake do. They uh they want to keep the sweet but then cast out the bitter. Huh? Alright, uh, a nice four points meal with the table bowl. Yeah. Otherwise you got no balance. And don't you think these people gonna fucking wake up to their bullshit once they find out that they've been hoodwinked? And bamboozled, man, they gonna be after you, man. And you gotta pay for them, man. Breaking up family, man, if that's one thing I, I, I stay clear away from, okay? They're counseling people to break the family. You read that, so basically, you know, let's get to talk about meddling and all that stuff, man. Sin, chat. He says, you, you caught meddling, you will not be innocent. You might say, well, look, you ain't mine, but you will call meddling. You're not innocent. You don't want your name thrown in that now.
This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12, like 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, fear the Most High and keep His commandments. But this is the whole duty of men. Oh, sorry, verse 12. 12. Well, is there another verse? Uh, 14. Yeah, bro. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Every secret thing will be brought into judgment. So you, you got this personal beef with the scriptures. Something you just can't. I, we ain't gonna ever talk about that. We ain't gonna ever do a lesson on that. We don't acknowledge it. We just don't like it. But you, but, but you think you just gonna walk into the kingdom without it being checked? You gonna get checked, man. And you gonna have to provide an answer. And that's really the, the, the Lord used us to start with the apostles to do it because it constantly comes up. Why do, why do the apostles bring it up? To see who, who's uh, matured in their faith. To see if these leaders will acknowledge it. Because how did Yahweh Shai, how did his numbers go down? He hit them with some meat and they got offended. <laughs> Man, this nigga tripped. Leave him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You know, that's why the Lord didn't just get happy when he just saw the abundance of people. Because he's really like, man, half y'all. Two thirds. That's what happened with John, man. As soon as he saw the witness guy in the prayers, he said, man, who warned you to keep the family? He was just like, oh, you know, but they all holy, and the Lord and all that. Who says that one? That's why John's like, man, you see these guys, you know. So the Lord wasn't the same. The Lord hit him with some. Hit them with some truth, some meat, they got offended, they left. So you bring, you bring a lot of times you bring the truth to them, whether it's the women thing, the, the doctrine, of what the scripture says, and you find out it, it shows that a lot of these guys, leaders, they got an issue with the scripture. Man. And you ain't gotta worry about us, you're gonna have to answer to the Lord on it. That's right. You guys think, well, we're gonna do it this way, this is how it's supposed to be. As if, as if the Lord don't know that that's what's on your mind and that's on your heart. He gonna deal with you, man. Everything is gonna be exposed. You ain't gonna have no personal beat like that. They probably grit their teeth when they read about Jacob, okay? And his four wives. You tricked them into serving him. Man. That wasn't right. That wasn't right. He coerced them. Even though the Lord blessed, opened up the womb with Rachel, and he opened up the womb with Jacob. You know, you know, even though he basically helped in that, and that's how we heard today, you still got a problem. Because in your eyes, you need to be. Is that, a, is that a balance? Is that a, is that a just balance? Because there's always more women than men. The Lord created it that way. Why? Oh, for a million women in America to be single? No. For polygamous reasons. You know, because what happens when a society of women just running rampant? Man? You got all kind of wickedness bullshit going on like we see today. You know, ain't they ain't they ain't they ain't belonging nowhere. So they busy bodying it over here. They in this man business, they in this motherfucker business, they you know it's just confusion. If I may add, you know, that that law is in place for a number of reasons. Cause you know women you know they get their cycle and you gotta leave them alone for seven days. You understand what I'm saying? So why why she being left alone? Well, well, you know what you supposed to do. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? See, uh, they think that you supposed to be on your cycle with them. Right. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> you you supposed to have your own little lives in place when you on your cycle. Right. All right. I see you in a few weeks. Uh, send in. Um, yeah. You know Period what means stop for you. Yeah. Yeah. Stop for you. You got to go there. You do it. All right. That's cool. <laughs> see all these cars at the red light. So, really. When you look at it biblically, marriage is in the hands of the man, not the woman. The, like I just read, you know, you know, man is over the woman. Woman was made for the man. You know, that's that's in the scripture. We were made. That's how we doing our duty. You what we gotta do your duty. Why you wanna do your duty? Like a kind of servant to the poor, right? like you know, you got 
do a little too much, you know, just do the basics, you know. But, hey, this is how it's how it's supposed to be. It's a beautiful sight. Yeah, sometimes it gets to the point where it gets a little annoying. You're like, hey, bro, hold on. You know, she in the right direction, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. <laughs> you know, we gotta be the same way towards the Lord, you know? Because, hey, the Lord wants us to call on Him, man. Pray to Him, man. You know, sometimes we might get it, we might annoy the, annoy the Lord sometimes, you know? You know, because at the end of the day, you know, we need the Lord just like you women need us, man. <laughs> you know? It's your third time, though. Lord told Isaiah, he said, Tell, tell me to do something, I'll do it right now. Isaiah's like, I'm not going to do it. Listen, you can't, you can't worry me. Man. You can't worry me. So, you're supposed to pray. So, the word pray means cry. Don't say without ceasing. Mm -hmm. we're, we're like that damn little distress. Yahushua is our king and our knight and our saint. And, uh, yeah, we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be. Yeah, we're supposed to be. Who wants us to talk to him? Let's go down. Also, like, you know, you know how shot was going into how they can pray to the Lord, man. covers a multitude of things, you know, but when you ask for the vain things, don't be surprised when the Lord sent you something and it ain't, it ain't what you wanted, it ain't, right. you know what I'm saying? You got a sense of humor. <laughs> the grass is not green on the other side. You, hey, you get the, you get the car that you want, so when you drive in that mud, it break down on you, then you like, Hey, the Lord told you, it's been showing you don't need this shit, man. I gave you already what you need. You don't need all this extra stuff, man. Oh, he sent you know, He sent me. You know, but it was like, she don't know she did. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like, what the hell? Uh, see, I laugh. I just, I asked for this, so I can't even complain for it. I just, I'm going to deal with it. Pray to the Lord, uh, you know, I want to get better at my people. You know, and now we all you know, start, you know, learning about the people alphabet and Brother Dawada sent that voice message about how the elders, you know, you know, cracking down on brothers about learning Hebrew and stuff like that. I'm like, that's crazy, man. You know, so the Lord always listening to us, man. He knows, he knows. You know, the most occupied in this truth is actually the best. One of the revelations I was realizing the truth, even though, you know, we got going back and forth with the Israelite groups and the doctrine and all that, it's actually still better than the Because we, at least we ain't talking about world issues. You know what I'm saying? We, we still occupy and dealing with the scriptures. Yeah, we got disagreement on doctrine, but at least we're dealing with the Bible. You know what I'm saying? It's actually better. Because in our conversation, we can be, they could, we could, they could, these worldly guys can see us debate with these Israelites, right? You know, the doctrine is the doctrine, and they'll just be sitting there like, because they still on the outside, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Now, we've talked about smoking and cushion and rolling up and stuff. Football. Then they can jump in, you know, but they can't jump in. So at least it's still a good thing, but the Lord still requires you know, perfection, basically. Like, you can't have no hit, and he gives you room for it. So you all know what you get to. You know that you got people calling in, and the topic comes up, and you try to steer away from the topic. It's like, you deal with it. You got an issue. You, you got you better deal with it. You better deal with it. The Lord will deal with you. All, all because of what's your personal preference.
Lord. This is Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant, <laughs> for they being ignorant so like, of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. Right, so they're doing their own thing. They're establishing their own righteousness. So IUIC, they have an idea of what an Israelite family should look like. What their, what their idea is, you know what I'm saying? But how they think that we should be, but what, what about the scriptures? So you gotta be careful. And they're not afraid. Like I said, they add. You're not supposed to add or take over. It's that simple. For you to add, you basically saying, like I mentioned, the guy says, well, we agree, what about the part where it says, basically she's supposed to believe that you added that, man, that's not fair. You added it, nobody questioned it. They all just flew over it. First thing I would have said was, can you read that to me? Because I didn't, I didn't read that. I, I, didn't, I need you to break it down. It ain't third. It's because that's what they want, right? You can't do that, okay? You're in danger. The Lord, the Lord take offense to that. Like, excuse me? Because you, you're telling the Lord, Lord, this is incomplete. Let me go ahead and complete it for you. That's basically what you're saying. Lord, I, I think you had a type of her. I know what you was really trying to say. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, like, excuse me. Do I need you to add a correct he have no need of yeah. <laughs> he, he created us. He knows what's right. That's how he made it. But what if you got... Uh, uh, what if she stuck with a man and he's a wicked nigga and, and, and all this other stuff? Well, we use that situation with the ball and I'm again. Uh, you know? The Lord got a wicked nigga and the Lord made a way for her to get with a righteous man. So you just still let the Lord take care of the Lord to make a way for her to give her a righteous man. It's the Lord's will. So, I'm not going to force nothing at all. I don't want to be guilty of anything. And you got guys got a problem with dealing with Why? Because it's their preference. Instead of them just saying, me personally, I don't deal with it. They're, they're just rather say, like, oh, no, you go. They even go as far as to say that you ain't in Israel, let's go for your parents in Israel. <laughs> See, again, that's adding to the world. That's adding. Because of what you, your idea of what a Israel like should look like or be, they got to have a daddy and a mama that's in Israel. Well, yeah, that a whole lot of men, not Israelites, that's in the scriptures, counted as Israelites. Right. Exactly. Davis line, line goes back to Ruth the strong in there because she's a boy. No, that was actually Grizzle. No, man, but you got other situations in there. Okay? It would be an endless genealogy if you had to write down the man and the woman. When we read back these one, it goes off what the man, because the man carries the seed. But just like why we can buy eggs out the, out the market and they don't grow in the chicken. Because basically the woman has the egg. But what, what causes the, their life to be life? The seed, the, 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 uh, the uh, fertilization. The roots do that. Yeah, the fertilizer. The yeah. Otherwise, it's just an egg. So the life is what stems from the man. Even science will tell you that the, the gender of the child is solely dependent on the man. Okay, it's because of the chromosomes are in there, the attachment of the woman. Because a woman only has what? The man has an X. So it's really up to the man to determine what genealogy. I mean, it's going to be a boy or a girl. Ultimately, it's up to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I brought that because of Ecclesiastics 34, right? Starting at the 11th verse. When I traveled, I saw many things. And I understand more than I can express. 
I was oftentimes in danger of death, yet I was delivered because of these things. Is it a wisdom? Is that brother you know, said the wisdom ultimately delivered from death and get you far. And yes, uh, men in the wisdom will deliver you from death. You, you see more than you can express. You know, but it was one thing that makes these men special, they're, they're not ashamed of the gospel. They're not ashamed of it. Oh, wow. oh, wow. We're not ashamed of uh, the truth. Okay. Now, if we don't understand it, we stop and read. We understand it. We ask for understanding. But that's how it is. That's that's how it is. It's just how the Heavenly Father has it set up. Women are angry because the man, the Lord, has set the power in the men. Even though women have glory, they have a glory in which they can be glorified. With. They got their own system here, right? They can build up the you know what I'm but they'll rather try to, they, they upset because they, they ain't got the, the penis. They can't you know, go to war, right? They can't do what we do. And, they, and they're angry really at the war. And I honestly want to tell you, yeah, we're just angry at that, that we're not like that. But you have, you have a, a role to play. It is, it's a life that can't be the chain what the Lord set up, and you can't be ashamed of it. Uh, this is it. So you got to set up. What's the big deal? You know? You can't be ashamed of that. A lot of you reading about Jacob, you get pissed off. Who do you think he is, right? Yeah, more than one, one. And then you want to run a Corinthians or, or the book of Paul. It says one wife. Yeah, if you have a role of a Bishop, 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 you know, right, yeah. right. Because you have a job now. You, know, you, you have responsibility. The more women you have, the more responsibility. And if you the leader of a church, that's what you're supposed to tend to. The scriptures tell you that women care more things about what the world and how to satisfy them. So you got two two women, and, and you got to satisfy both of them. There's hardly no time for the church. So if that was to happen, well, look, I got two wives now. Okay, well, you just can't have this position. You still welcome to the church, but you can't have this leadership position. You know what I'm and you got to be blameless. So you just couldn't walk around calling yourself the top guy. You got to have a good report. Children too. Yeah. You got to be blameless. Family. All one plan. and your children too. But what do we see, man, in most of these uh, churches, man? The, the, the bishop or our pastor, those children be the worst ones out of all of them. Everybody yet, you know, the Lord was showing us, man, this, uh, this wasn't it. All we have to do is read, you know, and, 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 and pray for that understanding. And now the Lord sent, sent teachers and, and, and bishops and elders uh, uh, before us, man, to break this thing down to where it's dummy proof, man. You know, you 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 misunderstand this when you want to, when you want to misunderstand it, when you you know, uh, or if the Lord just got them blockers on from from understanding, you know, it ain't meant for. This is uh. Isaiah 40, and uh, I'll start at verse 12. As you mentioned, like how these guys is, is coming up with their own thing, like they, they know more than the Most High. Uh, uh, this is Isaiah 40 and 12. Who had measured the waters in, in the hollow of his hand and meted out heaven with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountain in the scale and the hills in the balance, who have directed the spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor, have taught him. With whom, with whom took he counsel, and who instructed him and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and showed to him the way of understanding. Behold, the nations are the drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. 
you know, basically, who, 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 who showed the most high? Who taught him? Who can come before him and be like, hey, you know, this wrong and we need to do this. He ain't got no counselor, man. You know? When it said omnipotent, that means all-knowing, man. Yeah, ain't, ain't, you can't go get him in trouble with somebody else. <laughs> you know, you, hey, man, like, man, these guys got to be, it's got to be some spirits on these guys to think that you can try to counsel the most high like he don't know what he doing. Yeah, but he needs to seduce the spirits. Like, way with doctrine. This, the scriptures say he numbered the hairs on your head, man. You can't even sit there and part your hair and count all them damn hairs, man. Even even the makeup of your body, man, with, with quantum mechanics, it's, man, it's, it's just, uh, uh, man, dude. When, I, man, I watched a documentary showing how the body is made up of compartments and components that work like a Swiss watch, man, on a small level all the way up to, like, your heart and shit. Come on, man. The Lord don't need no to hear shit from you niggas, man. To the magnificent being that make a machine like this, but we are machines. We are uh, organic machines, man. And that's why every time man get too proud, the Lord got to strike him, strike him down. Man, the main person that's getting too proud right now, fucking Esau, man. You know, trying to make artificial AI intelligence because Esau want to be a god over something. Like what's yeah. happening? Motherfuckers turn backfiring on his ass, man. Telling him his destruction and shit. Oh man. man. That's, That's <laughs> gotta be scary as hell. You make a, a invention to try so, to yeah. counter the most high. Nah, this thing telling you that you finna be going down. But at the end of the day, <laughs> this devil can make those things, but the Lord has control over everything, man. Yeah. You can make these AIs and the Lord can still put a spirit on it regardless, man. You know, okay. This devil is Jeremiah saying, Behold, 
I am the Lord, the God of all flesh, or the power of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Therefore, thus said the Lord, behold, I will give this, uh, well, yeah, that's, that's, you know, is, is there anything too hard for the Lord? And then said, no, man. Like you said, he can put a spirit on them day eyes, man, like, like he did in the world, for the world, and kill some people in that, in, in that lap. You know? from meats which Yahweh had created to be, to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of Yahweh is good and nothing is to be refused it, if it be received with thanksgiving. For it, for it is sanctified by the word of Yahweh and prayer. And it says, if thou, if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou should be a good minister of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, nourished up in the words of faith and of doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. But uh, maybe, you know, maybe chapter 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, shall they keep heap to themselves teaching teachers having itching ears. Right. And this is all happening in the latter days. So that's why we're seeing it all over the place. All over the place. That's why we're seeing it in all Israelite groups, Christians. We're just seeing it all. They either someone's want to be the next top man and put themselves as number one. Lust is driving them, covetousness, greed, gain. They think they king over Israel. They think they go next, you know, they think we're gonna be here forever. They're trying to wake up the whole nation of Israel, you know what I'm saying, all that other stuff. Some guys are even going out of line just to be on the news, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Uh, guys like that, man. All of us coming. And then you got teachers, oh, uh, sorry, people keeping themselves teaching, having teaching ears. That goes into hearing sweet things, sweet and slow things. So you're gonna have guys that's gonna chase the doctrine for the sweetness, right? No bitter, just all sweetness. And people gonna listen to them because I like I like the doctrine, right? I like that they say that I can do this. No time to trouble, no hard times. And then they try to sneak it in there without acknowledging it. That at one point you talk something different, you gotta acknowledge it. So, like, we, we well, this is what we believe dealing with the unbelieving spouse. You have to acknowledge that you did that, but maybe you don't do it. They, they'll just like, you're just gonna change your way, you ain't gonna say nothing. We taught that there's no Jacob's trouble, but we're just gonna teach you, we're gonna sneak it in there, and we're gonna see if they notice. And then I always left with the mark of peace. 
Get that from. Get out of here, man. Watch, you gonna do some shit like that, man. Watch. All y'all gonna do that shit, man. And we just don't, we just don't look at you. We gonna call you out of here. You don't got the, the character to acknowledge where you went wrong. Why do you still, like I said, you got problems with the Lord? So if anything, you're supposed to learn at least by today is you're not to be ashamed of the truth. Our creation world, you gotta play your creation walk with all your ability of that which you do have and what you are able to do. So that in the kingdom, you can be set on the You can be set to you. So, the women out there, if you're still proud as hell, you don't want to change, because you look at the men and say, oh, what they say with the passport guy? Oh, you don't want to step up? You don't, the, the men don't want to step up the game, so they're leaving. Yeah, okay. Well, we're here to tell you, according to the scriptures, if you don't get in line, you at risk of judgment. We ain't got to change nothing. We doing our job. So you got to do your job, right? Play your crash in the room. And us as Israelite men, we also got to gird up ourselves as men and not be emotional according to the doctrine, according to the law and certain judgments. So that we may be presented to the Lord, you know, Changed version, and that he's not going to be ashamed to, uh, to confess us before the Lord. Because if you are ashamed of him, why should why should he confess you before the name of the Father? So hey, cut the BS and just teach the truth, not diminishing or adding it to the word. You know, and and you be good. Apostles of Great Millstone have been doing it since they went out there. We see the success. We just follow the scripture. And when you talk about Paul's writings, it's a whole little thing. A lot of Israelites got a problem with Paul's writings. And you want to have women to choose, women to choose, all that. And you find out they run into the most trouble. Bob. 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 Bob.